Hi everyone, today we are going to look at word problems on fractions. Our objectives of today's lesson is to read and understand the word problem, draw models to represent the information given, as well as using the unitary method to solve the word problem. Are we ready? Let's start. Question 1. The total mass of two sacks of potatoes is 875 kg. The mass of one sack is three quarter of the mass of the other sect. What is the mass of the heavier sect of potatoes? So we know that there are two sacks of potatoes. The total mass is 875. So my total is 875. The mass of one sect is three quarter the mass of the other sect. So we know that one of the sect is, if you look at this sect, the heavier sect as a whole, we know it is divided into four parts. Where else? The mass of the other sect, which is lighter, is divided into three parts. One, two, three. We want to find the mass of the heavier sect of potatoes. So let's now draw our model. So we have first sect and second sect. First sect is three units. And the second set is 4 units. We know the total mass of the potatoes is 875. So we, we know that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units is 875. We want to find the mass of the heavier set, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, 7 units is 875. One unit will be 875 divided by 7, which is equal to 125. So find the mass of the heavier sect of potatoes, which is my 4 units. So we take 125 times 4, which gives us 500 kg. The mass of the heavier sect of potatoes is 500 kg. Let's look at this question and see whether there's any similarities or difference from the previous one. There are two sacks of potatoes. The mass of one sack is three quarter the mass of the other sack. The heavier sack is 125 kilogram heavier than the lighter sack. What is the mass of the heavier sack? From here, we know that there are two sacks. The first set and the second set. We know the one set is 3 unit. The other set is 4 units. We are given that the heavier set is 125 kg heavier than the lighter set. So we know that this is heavier than this. This is one unit heavier which is 125 kg. We want to find the mass of the heavier sack of potatoes. Therefore, one unit is 125. Four units, which, are, which is our heavier sack, will be 125 times 4, which is equal to 500 kg. The mass of the heavier sack of potatoes is 500 kg. Why not you try this question? The number of boys in a school was two-fifths the number of girls. There were 700 pupils altogether. How many boys were there in the school? Pause the video to solve the word problem. Continue when you are ready. Hi, welcome back. Let's look at question 3. There were 84 marbles in a container. Gary took 14 of them and Kelly took some too. Three seventh of the marbles were left in the container. How many marbles did Kelly take? We know that this container consists of 84 marbles. Gary took 14 and Kelly took some. However, we do not know how many did Kelly take. But we are told that Three seventh of the marbles were left in the container after Gary took 14 and Kelly took some. 
we want to find how many marbles did Kelly take. Let's draw our models to help us see. There were 84 marbles in a container. Gary took 14. Kelly took some. Three seventh of the marbles were left in the container. So I know that the whole is 7 units. And 84 marbles is my whole. 3 7 were left. And the rest were taken by Gary and Kelly. My 7 unit is 84 marbles. Therefore, my 1 unit is 84 divided by 7, which is 12 marbles. We know from here that Gary took and Kelly took 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 units is 12 times 4, which is 48 marbles. Gary took 14 marbles. And we know that the 4 unit is 48 marbles. So Kelly would take 48 minus 14, which is 34 marbles. Let's look at another alternative solution. Again, we know that 7 units represent my whole, which is my 84 marbles. 3 7 were marbles left in the container. The rest of the 4 units were taken by Gary and Kelly. So 3 7 of the marbles, which is my whole, 84, will be equal to, I take my 84 divided by 7, I would have 12. So 3 times 12 will give me 36. So I know that the numbers left is 36. Gary has taken 14, which leaves me to find Kelly. Therefore, Kelly's marbles will be the whole, which is 84, minus 36, minus 14. And Kelly took 34 marbles. Let's look at this question and see how similar it is or different it is from the previous. There were 84 marbles in a container. Gary took 14 and Kelly took 3 7 of the marbles. How many marbles were left? Here, we know that my 3 7 of the marbles, my whole is 7 units, and my marbles, the whole is 84 marbles. So 7 unit is my 84 marbles. Kelly took 3 units out of the 7 units. The rest is by Gary and left. Therefore, 7 unit is 84, 1 unit is 12. 4 units will be 12 times 4 is 48. So if I want to find left, I take my 48 minus my Gary, which is 14, and I would get 34. There were 34 marbles. Let's look at question 5. A set of stickers was shared among Dan, Hamid and Rita. Dan received two-fifth of the stickers and Hamid received three-tenth of the stickers. The remaining stickers were given to Rita. If Rita received eight fewer stickers than Dan, how many stickers were there in the set? So I have a set of stickers given to Dan, Hamid and Rita. Dan received two-fifth of the stickers. Hamid received three ten of the stickers. The remaining stickers were given to Rita. So Rita have the remaining stickers. Rita received eight sti fewer stickers than Dan. So he re she received eight fewer stickers than Dan. So to find the, num the fractions of stickers that Rita has. So the set of stickers, this set of stickers is my whole. So I have a whole given to Dan, Hamid and Rita. So Dan received two-fifth. 
and Hamid received 310. Because their denominator is different, I need to make the denominator the same. So 2 fifth is my 4 10. So I take 1 whole minus 4 10, which is given to Dan, minus 3 10, which is given to Hamid. So Rita would receive 3 10 of the stickers. Let's draw models to help us see. So I have a hole, then receive two fifth of the stickers. So we cut this into five unit. One, two, three, four, five. Then we receive two fifth. Hamid received three ten. So now from the two fifth to go to three ten, every one fifth I must subdivide into half. So I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Hamid received three ten of the stickers. So this stickers given to Hamid. The remaining stickers were given to Rita. So we know that just now when we subtract we also get Rita also get three ten. So now we know that then is four unit. Hamid Receive three unit and Rita receive three unit. If Rita receive eight fewer stickers than Dan, so I know Rita is three unit, Dan is four unit. This is the unit that Rita receive less than Dan. I know I know that this is eight stickers. Therefore, four unit minus three unit is one unit. 1 unit is my 8 stickers and 10 units will be 8 times 10 which is 80 stickers. So there were 80 stickers in the set. I hope you have a clearer picture on how to solve the word problem. So we have read and understand the word problem on fractions. We have tried drawing models to represent the information given and we had used unitary method to solve the word problem. Enjoy solving word problems.